this is my biggest issue with the class so far. It's not necessarily that we're discussing what we're discussing. I really don't mind discussing feminism. I don't mind arguing over the wage gap or discussing white privilege with progressives. However, it is being presented as unquestionable fact rather than something that is still up for debate. You can't answer the question properly without buying into these notions. If I were in that class and I weren't heavily involved in the gender and feminism debate as I am right now, I might just think, well, this is being told to me in my readings and by an authority figure. That must mean it's true. I better accept it. Like, of course we live in a rape culture. Like, of course we do. This is a rape culture. What we live in today is a rape culture. And that's what needs to stop. And what does the media and our politicians do to help rapists? More lenient sentences. Um, a slap on the wrist, which happens all the time. Okay, give me some examples of that. You know, I'm not, I, I'm not here to give you specific examples, Lauren, but I know that you know, and I know from experience from watching you, that you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I don't, and I don't need to go into details uh, because I don't have any specifics. A girl in my women's studies class, which I <laughs> took because I'm a crazy person, uh, she, she actually stood up in the middle of the class and said, your different opinions make me afraid to come to class. You shouldn't be allowed to have that. Now, I've been brought in front of the dean multiple times, and they kind of talk to me a bit, and they're like, oh, Lauren, you've got all these complaints about you again, and they'll get something, and just go through free speech. But I get complaints constantly because people are genuinely afraid of different opinions on campuses.